What's up, Internet? It's your soul once again, and still covering the Jeffrey Epstein story, keeping up with all the latest news as it comes out. This piece just published in the Metro, which is a UK newspaper, and alleged Prince Andrew, I say alleged because, you know, are there any real kings or queens or princes? In what way is that the case? But anyway, um, Andrew Windsor, let's say, denies knowledge of uh, convicted sex offenders Jeffrey Epstein's behaviour. And in this piece, this is the first time he's actually made a full public statement, as I understand it, about this situation. Uh, he's basically saying, oh, well, you know, I made a mistake hanging out with him. I didn't really understand who he was behind the scenes. And, you know, I had no idea, basically, that he was this child abusing, messed up person. And, you know, now all the evidence has come to light. You know, I realize I made a mistake. Okay, but the problem is that some of the evidence that he's talking about, which is effectively saying he accepts as real, is said to include him as being an abuser. So he's not coming out and saying that I know that a lot of this evidence against Epstein is, is lies and false. These women are making things up because presumably he can't because he would be literally accusing 20 plus women of lying about the same thing. So therefore he's basically saying he accepts that they're telling the truth, but one of them at least is saying that he was an abuser. So I mean, he's obviously in a very difficult position, but it doesn't look good, does it really? I mean, for him anyway, what, the, logically, why would somebody who had been abused by Jeffrey Epstein fabricate a story about being abused by Prince Andrew as well? Um, how would it benefit her unless she was being maybe paid to do that just as a favor to someone who has a problem with Prince Andrew? But there's no evidence that that's the case. And presumably, you know, if she was going to be getting compensated from Epstein's behavior, presumably given how wealthy he was, she would stand a chance of making a lot of money if that was her aim anyway. So I can't really think of any viable reason for her to fabricate a story like that unless she had some sort of personal grievance with Prince Andrew or she was being blackmailed or something like that or threatened and forced to do it um, if he was really innocent. So, yeah, I think, if anything, this position needs to be remembered and kept track of, and people need to notice how little he's been able to defend himself, and his own words seem to, to some extent, incriminate himself. I'm still working on this map, which is becoming more and more epic by the day, connecting the various people together visually who have been identified to possibly be connected to all of this by various different re reporters. And hopefully I'll have that published and available for public manipulation and view within the next few days. It's really a lot of work. And um, yeah, I mean, it's it's literally days and days of work, but I think it has to be done. And I'll be glad when we can all look at it and see the connections that are on there, because some of them are quite eye opening, to say the least. So, yeah, if you've got any comments on this, any information that you think might help me in plotting this map out a bit more or uh, and just any comments in general relating to this, definitely let us know below. And as always, if you've liked this, give it a thumbs up, give it an upvote, give it a re-steam, a reblog, a share, and uh, I'll see you soon. Peace.